Okay, so once you've got all the objects in your room textured, it should look something like this. So if we just have a quick look around mine, I'll just up the lighting a little bit so you can have a good look. Um, because of the way that a cube's laid out, one of your faces will be upside down. That is fixable. We're not going to cover it in this tutorial, but it is dead easy to fix. Um, and everything else looks quite nice. And what we're going to cover now is putting some lights into the room and making it look uh, super sexy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that this um, gamma preview is off because it makes a big difference with lighting. This the, the darkness of the room now looks a lot more like what the render will look like than when you turn gamma on. So we're going to leave it off and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a light to the scene. We're going to add um, a point light which if you imagine sort of like a an old school light bulb or something like the sun so it's a light and then light is emitted in every direction. So we're going to create one of those and that's going to be the the main source of light in the room really. So to create a light you click on create lights and go to point light. Okay and there it is. Um, so you may or may not see two manipulators. Uh, I'm just going to go to the the move tool though because I only really want to see one manipulator. And then what I want you to do is move it up out of the floor and then you want to be able to see the effect that this light's having. So I'm going to press number seven on my keyboard and then as I move that around and up and down you'll see how that's affecting the room. It will be having an effect on it which is really nice. Okay so I'm just going to move that up a little bit. I might just turn the gamma on just for now. Just it, this is too bright, but it does allow you to see kind of what's happening. So I'm just going to raise that up a little bit, and I'm happy with that. That's okay. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to change a couple of the attributes of this light to get it to look um, how I want it to look, to fit the, the mood that I'm going for. Now, in order to do that, we need to open the attribute editor. We've not used that yet, but it's a big part of my own. You'll be using it a lot as you get into the software. To open that up, if you press Control and A on your keyboard, it should immediately pop up. If it doesn't, press Control and A again. Sometimes it cycles. So if I keep pressing Control and A, it'll cycle between the channel box and the attribute editor like that. But I want the attribute editor. And you can see that here I can change the color and I can change the intensity. Now I want to take the intensity down. Intensity is just like the brightness of the light. And I'm going to turn that down to 0 0.3 because I want the room to look quite moody. And then I'm also going to go down to the shadows section. I'm going to leave the shadow color as it is, and I'm going to use depth map shadows, and I'm going to use a resolution of 1024, and that just makes them a little higher quality than they would be at 512. Okay, so now we're going to work on setting um, the viewport up to give us the best preview of the light so that we can see what we're doing. So make sure that you are using viewport 2.0, and we're going to turn off the gamma correction again, because... We do want it to look as close to the the way the real lights are looking as possible. So it is quite dark, but remember that as you're previewing your scene, if you need to turn it back on at any point, you can just click on that and it'll allow you to see a little bit better. But trust me, the darker one is a more accurate representation of the room we're creating. So we'll leave it off for the time being, but we'll turn it on as and when we need it. 